The victim is now a student at Santa Rosa High School, but she told investigators Dan Flores Jr. abused her from 2008 to 2010. She was the first student picked up on his school bus route every morning and the last one dropped off each afternoon. During interviews with an investigator who has special training in asking sensitive questions of children, the girl said that Flores would stop on the side of the road almost every day after school and touch her on her chest and bottom. She told investigators she didn't report the touching at the time because of her parents' immigration status. But school administrators found out about the accusations around May of last year. The criminal complaint says that's when Flores called the girl out of the blue to talk. Anytime as such complaints come to us, uh, procedure is uh, administrative leave and investigation proceeds and typically What's asked of is that we use a third party, in this case, the state police. Current superintendent Richard Perea was the high school principal and transportation director last spring. Perea called this a confidential HR matter, but says the schools followed protocol in the handling of Flores. He was placed on administrative leave, and uh, at this time he has resigned from the district. Flores resigned before the current school year began. He's scheduled to make his initial court appearance next month. In Santa Rosa, Robert Richardson, KOAT Action 7 News. Police have an